New project. This one shipped to me from Florida. Cracked back, crusty edge of the corner protectors. Really rough shape. It's been in a shed for quite a while. The guy, client, I guess I should say, the gentleman, Kenny, wants it to look new. It was his grandfather's, I believe. And when grandma remarried after grandfather died, it was put in the shed by the new husband and neglected. It is missing its front, which I'll make a new one. Um, some discoloration in the drawers, which I'll Blend, of course, completely. Might have to do some adjusting to tighten things up just a smidge if they'll work smoother. This is where the manual would go. That looks just like it should. These two nails are Something I've never seen, so I'm going to do some investigating to see if that's because they, they kind of match the handles. And they're thicker than a nail, but I can't see the back side, obviously, because that's a board. Oh, yeah. There's the handle. Front needs to go back on. So I'm going to take all the drawers, tighten them, replace all the felt. Now, these drawers don't have felt on the sides, and I've never seen one that didn't, so I'm going to put felt on the sides. This may have been replaced because it doesn't fit very well. So my guess is this is not the original felt. Yeah. If it were original felt, it would stick a whole lot better than that, and it wouldn't be on the sides. Regardless, it'll look better, and that's how everyone I've ever seen was. The hardware is very rusty. I'm going to make it cleaned up and put it black as it was originally. Can't quite make out who the manufacturer is yet. It's not a Gerstner. up I'll be able to see who made it. If it was a Gerstner they always sign their boxes inside. It's a little rough but I'll make it look as good as I can. New may be very difficult, but I'll see. <laughs> I've done worse. Absolute worse. Now, the thing about non Gerstner boxes is that they put everything together with split rivets, meaning all of these holes would have been filled by screws by Gerstner, but these are all riveted, so I either have to put in new ones or not take it that far apart. 
but I have to glue or replace this wood, recover the handle, and glue or replace this lumber. So I just put some screws in it. So it's just gonna be one of those. We'll see what happens. Voila. Taking it apart, it is a lot worse than I thought, and it might be a lot worse than the owner thought. If I want to make it look new, I'm just going to have to build a new box completely, including drawers. So I'm going to give Kenny a call and tell him I'll do the best I can. And if he finds it acceptable, great. If not, we'll have to discuss what to do because it is just a little more work than I thought it would be which is you know that's always the case in some respects I still love doing it I'm not going to make any money on this one it's not all about making money but it'll be a nice video and we'll see what I can do with it so I cut the style and rail for that. I gotta give a little update. This was the backboard that was in two pieces. I still have some sanding to do. Uh, it was also split really far into there. This side I'll clean up, but it's gonna be hidden forever. But I think that's gonna turn out once it's all sanded and and uh, done. I can save that back and that will be nice. And then all the wood will match. Well, there's all the hardware with the initial polish. I uh, have to spray them yet, but they're going to turn out really nice. I didn't take all the rust off the backs, but it would be very difficult to do without doing it by hand. So, progress. Boards still gluing them together where they were split. Piles of parts. Piles of parts. It gets kind of scary when you have to put it all back together. Not really. So I'm happy with that. Well, there's another side panel that I took off just now where it had, had been joined together originally had split. I don't have rust off of those. I'm going to check and see if I have any black paint. Since these were Originally black paint, I'm probably repeating myself, but 
All right. This is a side panel that split when I took it apart at the original seam they would have had when it was being built. looking yuck. Hmm. That's going to take a little bit of work to get that one out. probably time to work on the new front. I cut some boards. Trim the edges off of these two and glue them together. This is going to look like I'm just walking up, slapping a board on here and get ready to test a groove, but believe me, I've been at it for 30 minutes. I'm trying to get it set up so the panel will fit in the boards. And I'd say I have it. Now let's just hope that I don't screw it up. I have to make another new panel. This is panel number two because the first one went through the planer and chopped it up. A nice flat panel for the front. It'll be cut to size and that'll be all evened out when the case is back together. And then on the inside here we'll get the felt I keep talking about. 
That will be the writing surface if you want to make it. Hopefully they stay together. Finally to the point I can start putting stuff together, I think. So be prepared. I'll probably put stuff on backwards and have to take Nice one, I don't have these clamps in my way. I think I finally got the box pretty much stabilized. This is where that foam comes in handy because the dovetails weren't as tight as they were one time and so I can fill the voids with that expanding polyester glue and that makes it back to the original tightness that it had. A little refining and sanding. Finding. Make sure it's right side up and right side out. That will be the new front on the case. Without it being stained and sanded, it maybe that'll show it a little better. It's kind of hard to see the fact that there's raised panel. So let's see how the lid fits. Very good. Hallelujah. Because sometimes, again, when you take all these apart and put it back together, things shrink, so to speak. The reason I scrape these is because it just gums up the sandpaper. Probably knows that sandpaper is as expensive as everything else. Get the panel here. adjustment on that one. I just want to set that one lower than it's supposed to be because of the, the slot for the front panel. It's a little tight, not too bad. down. And I have 
the nails to go down. Okay. Slightly adjustable. Adjustment, not too much. Let's see, technically, I think those should all be out here. When the back goes on, that'll keep it from pushing in too far. And you know, oh, there's still foam and glue on the sides, that's the problem. Well, I just want you to be flat and not for a pretty picture. And you'll go there, since there's some cleaning to do. Now I'm gonna put some stain on it. I got a mesh, kind of that. So that's it's gonna take several coats, I would imagine, to get it to the right color. color on this is actually called mahogany. Really gets that oak nice and toned like an old case would be. Technically, you should only stain one side at a time, but I'm one of those crazy people that likes to make my life exciting and stressful. As usual, the video decided to shut itself off, but I got the back on. It fits. I can 
let it sit for a while. Out of the way. I actually can have my workbench for a few minutes. I'm working on during this while I'm waiting on things, and I need it to size wood. <laughs> Push all the drawers in yet, but you saw what it looked like when it came in. It's a great improvement. I'm not sure you can see this, but I got a big punch, chisel I mean, thick here. So when I push it into the split rivet, something behind it, I'm trying to show you, but it's just not cooperating. You need to be down so I can push on it. And that opens it up really nicely. Then you take a little hammer. Well, there it is with all the hardware on it. I recovered the handle. It's not perfect, but it is what it is. Chrome, brass, where I could. Some of the thinner ones I had to use black. But that's okay because it's on the back. This works now. Drawers aren't in it because I'm getting ready to do felt. That's nice. It's folded pretty straight. That's even nicer. Not as many adjustments to make to get what I want.
last drawer I thought I'd let you try to watch. It's so far away. Sorry. Legs on the tripod, I strip on. I'm just fumbling. Put on a bigger screen. <laughs> if you're watching this on your phone, you're not going to get anything anyway. This is basically a PVA glue. Not the official one, but it'll work. to keep it just below the lip otherwise no matter what you do it gets caught on fingers rubbing in and out of the drawer okay last one I think this case other than a coat of varnish or two is complete Weird figuring in that board. I just didn't want to start all over. So it is what it is. Once it gets its last coat of varnish, I'll put some pictures of what it used to look like. These were split. The top was split. The handle was shot. have felt in them, the moisture is going to make it swell a little bit from the adhesive. Trying to make it look pretty. I'm pleased. owner will be pleased. I even lined that whole box instead of just the... edges. So used to working out here in the winter clouds, I forget the sunshine in the background will cause that glare. Sawdust. Probably more on the towel than there is anywhere else. So anyway, this pops 
push down in there, it goes like this. You go to work. Oh, I can't lift it. <coughs> it's a heavy one. It's not bad considering what it started life as when I got it. I'm not ashamed of it.